Hi everyone, this is Max Gullickson with Southbridge Community Television. We're back at the Jacob Edwards Library with another month and another display uh, for all to see here. And this month it's Blown Glass by John Lewis. And John's right here, the artist. John, how are you? Very good. I was admiring your work earlier. Beautiful. So now I understand you've been doing this for quite some time. Mm -hmm. well, how long is that? Oh, about 50 years. 50 years of that? Yeah. Do we have the whole... 50 years uh, represented here in the collection this month? No, the first 10 years or so are long gone. Oh, I see. Oh, that's too bad. It's glass. Yeah. Oh, I suppose so. <laughs> right. You do something other than glass? You, uh, you have a other um, format that you work in? Yeah, I work in metals. Uh -huh. yeah. And they're represented here? There are some examples of it, yeah. You live in Southbridge? Yes. Been I here do. your whole life? No, no. I was born in California and raised in New York City. I was born in South Carolina, I was raised in California, and I ended up here. I've only been here 30 years, and you know how it goes, John. If you weren't born here, you're really not from Southbridge. Yeah, even though you've been here 45 years. <laughs> well, that's not enough, apparently. I guess. But your work is just beautiful, and the thing that Thank strikes you. me about it is how symmetrical you can make this blown glass. I've seen people blow glass, and it, it's such an art form, but, it, but the ends, the, uh, the lip curve and all that is so even across, and uh, I mean, that must take some practice. It takes a, a while to get that skill down, and then uh, a lot of times you let the glass do what it wants. So the glass will dictate what you're going to end up with. Sometimes, yeah. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. You might yeah. start with something in mind and end up doing something else because mm -hmm. of the quality of the glass that you're using? Or Yeah, or how the piece is shaping out. Oh, you know? interesting. Yeah. How many, how many pieces have you made? Just give me a rough idea. In your 50 years you've been doing this, how many have you done? <laughs> 5,000. Wow. You do this for a living? No. It's a hobby. Uh, it's a calling. Yeah, I see. You know, Almost like a glass religion. I did, uh, you know, try, but uh, no, this, glass is a very expensive medium to work in. Oh, I see. You know, it costs you $75 to make a piece. Not like acrylic paint? Or no. I see. <laughs> see. Right. So you picked the most expensive one? Pretty much. Which is beautiful. <laughs> Thank they're you. They're beautiful. And they're on display here uh, at the Southbridge Library for the entire month of May. And I encourage everyone in Southbridge to come on down here and treat yourself to the John Lewis collection. Of for me, because I'm left-handed and just clumsy, they're hard to imagine somebody creating with such symmetry and care. John, thanks for talking to me Thank today. Thank you. All right, folks, we hope to see you down here at the Jacob Edwards Library real soon in this month. And you also can enjoy the work by John Lewis. Thanks, John. Thank you. Yep.